Bill here with Carcraft Classics. Once again, showing off some new inventory. It's been a while since I made a video. I apologize. Been real busy at the shop, shipping out cars and trucks, and installing AC for customers and things like that. But uh, we're finally back at it. We've cleaned up some some of our inventory that's been laying around. Uh, this is the first one we're going to get up online for you. Uh, again, it's Carcraft Classics. We're located here in uh, Georgia, at 321 Canton Road, Cumming, Georgia. There's the inside of the shop. Got a nice little 70 model C10 there. Getting ready to get cleaned up. 5,000 square foot facility here. Again, 321 Canton Road in Cumming, Georgia, 30040. Give us a call anytime at 470-239-4977. Again, that's 470-239-4977. All right, so back to the truck. This is a sweet one. I love the color combo. I think guys in the industry call this the Earnhardt color combination with the gray on top, the gray on the bottom, the black in the middle with the sweet red pinstripe going down the side. This truck we've done an awful lot too, and that's part of the reason it took me a while to get it up on, on the video here. Uh, it came to us with these sweet wheels. It's got a brand new staggered set of 20-inch US Mag Ramblers. This is the U111s, I believe they call them. It's got the black face with the diamond cut lip. Let's take a closer look. We pulled the calipers and painted those red. Again, that's a staggered set of 20s. That's 20 by 8.5 and, and 20 by 10. Power disc brakes up front. We've done a lot to this truck. You can see looking down the side, it's got its share of nicks and scratches and character it's got kind of a patina look in some areas bodies in rust free shape I don't see any rust on the truck cab corners are good bottoms of the doors bottoms of the fenders I don't see any bubbles metallic still shining real good in the paint looks awesome nice and straight going down the side and this is an 86 so it's got that Cool front grill, 86, 87 shared that grill with the stripe going across the middle. And this truck has a, I was told it was a Crate 350 motor, certainly a V8, it's got the little dress up kit, black with the red Chevrolet lettering on the valve covers and the air cleaner. Super clean, runs great, truck does have AC as I mentioned before. It does have power disc brakes up front. It's a power steering truck. See down there. Nice new AC compressor. You see it does blow cold. Very clean engine compartment. Frame rails nice and rust free. Welded on a uh, Flowmaster muffler. It's got a good little low tone to it not a tire burner of course these V8s from the late 80s never were but good dependable driver clean exhaust manifolds nice clean core support here no that no evidence of you know past wrecks or anything at the old jack here little factory sticker super cool we also put almost forgot the new hood insulator, a little pad. Picked that up from LMC Truck, put that in there. What else did we do? I know I'm gonna forget something, but I'll I'll certainly list everything on my website at carcraftclassics.com. But we did do new headlights, top and bottom, brights and regular running lights there. We did tail lights. As far as suspension, it came to me lowered, but I wasn't crazy about how it went down the road. It had lowering springs on it, but it did not have drop spindles. Some guys like that. I'm not one of them. Uh, the front end was super soft. And if you hit any kind of dip in the road, you can see some of that patina. Looks great on the truck. Uh, back to the suspension. So... If you hit any kind of dip in the road, it would bottom out. You know, the, the truck, the suspension would bottom out and you'd hit the bump stops. Uh, it'd make a big noise and scare the heck out of you if you're driving. 
again pin straight body nice looking truck um, so what we did like I said we, we did the drop spindles up front we pulled out those four inch lowering springs we went with a two inch lowering spring and a two inch drop spindle up front uh, the rear was fine it's got the uh, the flip kit in the rear and the shock relocation kit so those shocks are operating the way they're supposed to and be careful when you don't put that relocation kit sometimes you don't you lose suspension travel in the rear if you just put the flip kit on we also put that rear bumper on there it had the HD bumper and we took that off and put the stock bumper on there brand new see some of that patina on this side Those chips scratches it's not a perfect paint job but man does it look cool shines real well as you can see another thing that we did here was uh, the bed wasn't in terrible shape it still had the factory gray paint but it had its share of scratches and a little dent here a little dent there so we put in this pendaline or drop-in plastic bed liner didn't want to put the spray in because it is so permanent so we put in the plastic one and I will post a picture I have a picture of the bed before we put the bed liner in so you guys can see it but what we also did was we put the spray in bed liner product along the bed rails just to protect it moving forward and man I really like the way it came out the bed looks ten times better tops of the bed rails look great as well as you can see protected inside and out all right so what else did we do to this thing when I was driving it to go get the bed liner I felt a hard shift in the transmission and then one of the trans lines came off and it leaked transmission fluid I just wasn't really comfortable with the transmission the way it was so we sent it out to be rebuilt and I've got the paperwork on that so that's been all done rebuilt transmission tuned up the motor like I said we redid the front suspension Flowmaster exhaust headlights taillights bumpers awesome but where we really did a lot is on the inside let's take a look the inside the interior wasn't in terrible shape but I tell you like you guys I really love these C10s and I love to tinker I love to play so the door panels were in great shape and this is a Silverado so it has the power windows the power door locks and the stock the stock door panels in great shape but took the seat out sent it out to uh, my upholsterer and we went with a material that's kind of got that weathered look that rustic look as you can see it's a gray material with the lighter gray veins and the pattern we chose just the straight up and down lines we did that because we wanted it to match and not clash with the stock door panels and a lot of guys go with these fancy over the top patterns and we've done that too we love those seats but sometimes they look a little out of place in the trucks so we went with this and we're really really ecstatic with how it turned out it almost has a stock look to it but certainly upgraded the cushion the material the stitching is bad to the bone so when we did that of course we had to do all new carpet got that old floor mat in there but I'll show you the carpet on the other side and then we went to forever sharp steering wheels and we bought one of those well three spoke I think that's a 15 inch steering wheel looks super cool and let me show you what else we got in here Dakota digital VHX gauges let's fire this bad boy up gauge the fuel gauge as you can see it works because we're low on fuel 
Look in the center of the speedo. It's warning me that we're about to run out. Oil pressure is good on the truck. Voltmeter is working. Looks like the battery's in great shape. The bezel's in great shape as well. The gauge bezel. I love the gray around each gauge there. I know that's kind of a stock look. One of the things I do love. Dash is cracked. AC blows cold. Heat works. Headliner and everything's in great shape. Even the old interior light works. One of the options on this particular truck was the dual gas tanks. And the switch, you'll all be happy to hear, does work. An aftermarket stereo right there, that does work as well. There's that brand new carpet I was telling you about. Installed that recently. Came out awesome. So, the truck really doesn't need anything but a driver. We've been through this thing inside and out. Interior's in great shape. Like I said, even the headliner. This new badass seat that we put in. Really, really cool truck. And we'll get still shots of all this as well. If you go to carcraftclassics.com, you'll be able to see nice, clear, shadow-free still shots of the whole vehicle. But I just always like to do this walk-around video for you guys that can't make it here to Georgia. So you can see all the nooks and crannies. And we also detailed the undercarriage. Uh, so I'll get it up in the air. We'll get you some shots of that as well. But there she is. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but headlights, taillights, bumper, wheels, tires, lowered the suspension, rebuilt the transmission, Flowmaster exhaust, all the interior work, dress up kit on the motor. Oh, that's right. We put a new starter in it too. Oh, left the headlights on. Put a new starter on it as well. Just a good old truck here. All right, so so that's the 1986 Chevy C10. Asking price for this vehicle is $18.5. We're now taking offers. It's ready. Uh, we can help with any further customization. If you want us to do anything to the vehicle, we can. We can also help with financing and professional shipping. Wherever you are in the world, we can drop this thing in your driveway. Just let me know. Again, my name is Phil, and I can be reached at 770-317-1415. And again, don't forget to go to our website, carcraftclassics.com, to see, uh, you know, I'll have like 50 plus um, still shots of this cool truck and all of the rest of our other videos. I mean, I'm sorry, our other vehicles will be there as well. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. One other thing. We can also help with uh, with financing. We've partnered with uh, JJ Best. Get you guys the best rates and quick approvals. So just give me a call if you can't live without this thing. And we'll be glad to help with everything. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. God bless America.